Somebody recently asked me after watching one of my videos about being committed to your decisions. Somebody asked, but what if you have no path? What if you're not sure what the path ahead of you is? So I'm guessing and I'm interpreting it and please comment below if you meant something different and you want something different. But I'm interpreting this as what if you haven't made a decision um, for a path or for a purpose? How do you commit to something if you're not sure what that path is? Now, when I say be committed to your decisions just to start off with, and very quickly for anybody that doesn't usually watch this channel, hello, I'm Harriet, these are the dogs. They're not always in the videos, but they're with us today. So Bob and Rafiki say hello. <laughs> and I am Harriet Bright. Here's a very, very quick intro. just about to say when I talk about being committed to your decisions that doesn't have to be you know a life path that could be anything it could be that you're going on a diet or you want to have a different body to what you have now and you'd like to release some weight and it could be sticking to a certain diet rather than getting tempted by a takeaway on a Friday night or whatever your temptation is it's about building that muscle and building that ability to commit to your decisions. Now, of course, they also might be for a bigger reason or a bigger purpose. For example, me committing to becoming an international speaker. Now, if you do not know what it is that you want to be doing or you're unsure of what is your purpose, what is your a thing that just makes you feel alive and you're able to contribute and serve, have a business with it, love it, and you're not 100% sure, first of all, let me tell you, it's okay. It really is, it's, it's okay. Don't, don't put pressure on yourself to need to know what that thing is. Because even for example, I mean, uh, years ago, uh, three years ago, I did not know that I wanted to become a speaker. I did not know that this was going to be my path and that I was going to love it so much. And now, don't get me wrong, I am very committed to this path and I've got a lot lined up for the rest of this year, next year, that I'm really excited about. And I see myself doing this until my human existence is no longer existing. You wouldn't guess I'm a speaker. <laughs> and. But what I am also is very open to five, 10, 20, 50 years, perhaps something else will open up for me. Perhaps I'll become a film director or open a tech company. If anybody knows me really well, especially any of the team are watching this, they will laugh at that, but I'm open. We don't need to know exactly what our future holds for us or exactly what that path is because Anything can change in a moment, in a moment, let alone an afternoon, a day, a week, a month, a year, a few years, anything can change. So don't put pressure on yourself to know your path, know your purpose. I like to think that my purpose is to be happy. My, ha my purpose is to be kind. My purpose is to smile and enjoy this existence. My passion and what I love to do right now is the speaker side. But I found that through being open to different opportunities. Let's have a little sit on this bench. I found that by being open to different opportunities, by 
experiencing a lot of things that I didn't enjoy and I didn't get that champagne in the veins feeling until the opportunity of speaking showed up and I suddenly found myself attending different events and hearing motivational speakers being inspired, inspired and then took the journey of the mentorship. So it's not about not needing to make a decision about what you are going to do for the rest of your life, but it's about finding something that is important to you now, whether that's your health, your relationship, whether you want to find the next step in terms of business, but don't pressure yourself of having to know every future step. It was really funny, at the beginning of this year, I, uh, me and my husband, we always write down what our intent for the year is and what we'd like to achieve. And don't get me wrong, because I'm still big on action plans, I just totally understand never to be attached to it. Never create a plan that you become tunnel vision with because you shut yourself off to other ideas. And at the beginning of this year, a uh, really good time to do it for everybody, but important to do it throughout the year, not just when New Year's rolls by and it's that resolution time that nobody sticks to. This is about making solid decisions and setting uh, an open, honest intent of what you truly want to achieve and you are taking steps towards. So I created this action plan for the year of what I was going to do, how I was going to achieve it, where I would be speaking. And in February, I was invited to collaborate and to be able to facilitate events around the world with the H Academy team. And I'm a part of this now. Now, had I been so tunnel vision to one path or this is exactly how I am going to achieve becoming an international speaker, then I actually would have shut the door to becoming a, an international speaker a lot quicker than I thought or realized. Does this make sense? So have an idea, know a bigger outcome, know a vision. Think what is important to you in your future, but let go of needing to know exactly how needing to know every step just be open and allow that path to naturally form its way in front of you that is my message for you guys today and also it's such a pleasure i love doing these videos anyway but it means even more when i know i'm actually serving somebody behind the screen so what is it that you would like a bit more information about what would you like more support on how can i help you step into that personal power unleash your warrior inside of you because if there's one thing that i have come to understand when you master your inner world you can master your external world and it's such a beautiful way to be and the reason I am on this channel sharing videos every day on how you can be happy how you can step into your confidence how you can be successful in whatever area that is to you or whatever that means to you I am here to bring these daily videos of inspiration education and motivation so that we can rise together